Some of the times I'd go off to the farm. I would go out in the woods and look at that John Deere sitting lonely by itself out in the woods growing up in small trees and weeds and everything and that's really sad looking and I my dad was still living then and I talked to him I said you know someday we should restore that tractor and he said well if you want to do that you can have it he said <laughs> there's been some people I wanted to buy that but I wouldn't sell it so if you want to restore it you can have it so I said, well, I, I would really like to find it, so I look at it and look at it and figure this. Wow, that, where do I start? And I talked a lot about it and he said, if you think about restoring that, you have a job on your hands. He said, that thing is completely shot. He said, he couldn't even get it started. We had to pull it to get it started. and. Uh, so I said, if you want a Model B John Deere, why don't you just go and buy one? It'd be much easier. And I said, well, I just don't want any Model B John Deere. I want this one. So, so um, anyway, I started a little bit about it. And then I took the radiator cap off. And um, I thought, I imagine that radiator leaks and oh gosh, I'm going to open. I was going to look in there and the radiator was completely filled up with, uh, with pieces of uh, grass and leaves and uh, what all was in there, I don't know, just solid right up to the top. So I thought, how in the world did all this get in there? And nobody would sit there and stuff it into the, into the tractor. So then I thought, well, I was looking at the bottom of the radiator there and there's a pipe coming out at the bottom and that rusted a, a rusty hole in it, there was holes. So, so I thought it, it must have been mice to get through the hole and they got inside of the radiator and they dragged all that up to make nests out of it. So that's the only way I could think of that it would possibly get in there. And there was no bird could possibly get in there. So I made a little hook on a piece of wire and I started dragging, pulling stuff out of there to clean it out. The radiator is one of the first things I started on. And I kept pulling stuff around in between the radiator core and the shell. And I kept cleaning and finally I thought I must have got just about it. And I got the wire in underneath in the bottom of the radiator. Um, and pulled stuff out and cleaned and cleaned. I thought, it must have it if I have it all cleaned out. Finally thought I cleaned out. So then, the next thing is to get that um, stub pipe out of the bottom of the radiator. There was rusted a hole in it. And there's a short rubber coupling between that and the engine. So, um, I tried everything, the biggest wrench I could find on there, pipe wrench, no way to burn it. I put the rust remover in there and let it soak for I don't know how long, couldn't do it. But you couldn't use it the way it was. You had to get that out of it because it was rusted old. And this big thread, this pipe is about this big around, mm -hmm. and it threaded into that cast iron shell of the radiator, where the radiator fits into it. So I thought I'd put a um, pound for a pistol and a hammer, see if I could break it loose. Couldn't do it. Finally, I kept pounding, and the pipe just collapsed. It had rusted it just so thin. So I kept pounding, and pretty I pounded, and it folded together like this, smaller and smaller and smaller in the hole, and it just collapsed. So I kept pounding on it, pretty soon it broke loose, and I could pull it out of there. So I thought, now, how am I going <coughs> to... <coughs> 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 